At a farmer's market in Washington, D.C., a lonely Sadie and a romantically desperate vendor named Cole cross paths. After a fun-filled all-night date that ends in sex, Cole goes home. But Sadie doesn't respond to his texts. Cole's sister thinks Sadie is ghosting him, but his parents convince him to surprise Sadie in London after discovering her using a tracker and his inhaler that he mistakenly left in her suitcase. The next thing we know, he's on his way to London, but as he follows her current location, he finds himself in a shadowy alley and is abducted. The next thing we see is what appears to be a laboratory filled with harmful insects that are employed to torture people. Cole claims he's only a farmer, despite the man conducting the investigation's repeated claims that Cole is the taxman. Sadie appears with a rifle just as he's about to be tortured and begins shooting everyone in the area. The alarms go off as they leave, and he's astonished to see her acting that way. She has misled him about being an art curator, it turned out. She actually works with the CIA as an operative. She also hands him a gun and they start having a gunfight. He doesn't shoot anyone when they emerge from the cave. Instead, he provides cover for them. Just as they are about to board her cheap, we find out that they are in Pakistan's Aran Khyber Pass. The local security forces fight them, and as they flee, they approach a bus, stop it with a rifle, and board it. Now as they are inside the bus, the security personnel are pursuing them and continuing to fire. Some of the soldiers are able to board the bus after a protracted pursuit, but Cole uses his school-taught wrestling techniques to take them out. He claims that after they had slept together once, he started stalking her. He claims that what he did was intended to be a loving gesture. The bus finally surrenders after they defeat all the vehicles and motorcycles pursuing them. She informs him that they will now have to walk. The action shifts to a cave where we meet Levesque, the real mastermind behind the endeavor. They believe Cole to be the tax guy and he wants a passcode from him. Anyone who can bring in the taxman will receive a million dollars, he assures his guys. Meanwhile, Sadie and Cole arrive in Mangola, where they encounter Marco, who appears to be a significant person there. He kisses her as soon as he sees her. They discuss the Aztec biological weapon, which has the power to destroy the eastern seaboard. Cole was her secondary concern, adding that she was at the cave to acquire Aztec. She asks Marco to arrange a secure trip for Cole to return to America, and he complies. It comes out that Marco and Sadie once dated as well. It just works because they're in the same profession. Sadie instructs Cole to never get in touch with her again as she leaves, but a short while later, Marco is fatally shot by a black man. At gunpoint, Eve kidnaps Sadie and Cole. The black man identifies as Sam's grandson. He is attacked by the leopard, a man sent by Levesque while he's bringing them away. Now the leopard orders Cole and Sadie to accompany him. However, a person going by the name of the lion kills the leopard as soon as they get into the car. After throwing the leopard's body out, he instructs them to continue driving. These two escape while the lion is also killed. He explains to Sadie that they kept asking him for the passcode while they were in the car, and she now knows that they are unable to use the Aztec because they don't have the passcode. She says she murdered Edna, a recent co-worker, since she cracked the passcode and it was discovered that she was a traitor working for the enemy. After punching and knocking him out, she takes Cole to live with his men while posing as a bounty hunter and claiming that Cole is a taxman and knows the passcode. She informed that she will be paid when they land, and they force him to sit on the aircraft. Levesque himself does not board the aircraft, so they decide to torture Cole for the passcode. He delegated the full duty to Wagner, his right-hand man. However, they discover a photo of her and Cole that was taken in bed while they were sharing a bed. And then she claims to be the taxman and to possess the passcode for Aztec, which is present on this aircraft. However, she fights them all and quickly takes Wagner out. She gets into a confrontation with another man, but after he stabs her, she goes on to snap his neck. In the meantime, Cole uses his wrestling prowess to defeat another man. She then instructs him to jump out of the plane with the Aztecs and land on the ground using a parachute, but he refuses to leave her behind. The two then jump off the plane when he grabs her. They arrive at Socotra Island in the Arabian Sea instantly, six hours later. He's treating her wounds when she awakens because he's well-versed in plants. The following morning, they continue to converse and enjoy a crazy, steaming hormone sandwich until Wagner and his men attack him. However, she has informed the CIA of her location, allowing them to arrive quickly and kill some of Wagner's men. Wagner does, though, escape with the Aztecs, much to the dismay of the CIA crew. 
They're now being questioned by a man named Monte Jackson while seated at the CIA's main office. When Sadie claims that trying to save him was a mistake because she lost Aztec in the process, she and Cole argue once more. He feels extremely hurt by that. Jackson instructs them to find a room since they have lie detectors linked to them, and they keep signaling that there is a sexual tension between the two of them. She then encounters Dr. Yates, the boss. Yates expresses disappointment at her and warns that she risks losing her job. Jackson is making crude remarks about Sadie. She's called a murderer and a liar by Cole, who's still guarding her. Cole, however, spies a plant in her photo and informs the group that Edna used this plant to crack the Aztec password. Thus, they should immediately get the plant from her residence. Informing them that they must defeat Levesque or that he won't stop pursuing them because he believes Cole is a tax collector, they decide to use Cole for the mission. Therefore, he might even harm his family. Sadie warns Cole that his decision to assist them is a grave error. They're merely attempting to use him, they add. They all criticize her in the same way, he claims. He begins working with them when Sadie departs the CIA's main office. Meanwhile, Mr. Otami, the person who hired Levesque to obtain Aztec, visits him and informs him that he urgently wants it. Levesque assures him that he will get it soon. After that, they solve to visit the tax man, and Otami announces that he will accompany Levesque. The deal is sealed if they discover the password. Otherwise, he plans to execute a veteran immediately away. Cole, the taxman, desires to take the Aztecs from them. They head to a location in the mall where they can order a table. With his last breath, Jackson tells Cole to leave the area as his crew is slain while Cole waits for them to arrive. Cole chooses to stay, though, because he knows Sadie will show up there to save him. Utami and his soldiers come and join him at the table. Levesque informs him right away that they have this item and require his assistance in opening it. Cole, on the other hand, makes out that he's a traitor to the nation and that his goal is to leave this building wealthy. However, Levesque asserts that he has no faith in them. Levesque did not believe him and still does not think that this meeting was set up where he claimed to be a traitor. As he waits for Sadie to arrive, he continues to scan the area, and she eventually does. He continues by telling Mr. Otami that she genuinely is a tax collector and knows the passcode. She then opens the container holding Aztec after Otami immediately sends her the money. Levesque tries to kill her when it's open, but it turns out he's surrounded by the bounty hunters she has hired. She catches Aztec right as she and Cole hide under a table as the shootout starts. They cooperate to repel the assailants for a while before Cole and Wagner start fighting one-on-one, -on -one, causing them to be separated. Utami instructs Levesque to remove Cole from the structure, but after shooting Wagner, he enters the control room with Cole. There, they observe large machines that come to life as a result of their combat with one another. The entire building where everyone else is fighting starts retaining the moment we see it, further escalating the chaos. Levesque and Sadie get into a shootout while Wagner and Cole fight. Levesque prevails against Cole in their combat and manages to take down the Aztecs. He's crushed when Sadie fires the ceiling over his head, causing it to collapse. Cole is secure and Sadie now has Aztec. He compliments her on how beautiful her black outfit is as they kiss. The scene then shifts to Sadie and Cole having dinner with his family, who are overjoyed to have her. As they tell the family about everything they have been through, Maddie is equally as impressed by her. Three months later, Cole and Sadie are in a relationship and making headway in their respective occupations. He finds a man inside the car's trunk who has had his mouth taped when he opens the trunk. They proceed on their date after she casually informs him that he's a weapons dealer. And with that, our video comes to an end. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe.